My work is mostly focused on looking at different conditions involving, I say, the bones and the muscles, how they affect movement in patients, and also how some of our measures that we take in the lab, how they predict how the disease changes and how it progresses over time. Right now, one of the main questions I'm trying to answer is how different types of knee osteoarthritis affect how the disease progresses, and also how that's going to affect how we treat these patients. So currently I'm working on a project that's looking at two different types of knee osteoarthritis. So some people develop knee osteoarthritis after having an injury uh, to the knee, such as a ligament tear. And then 10 to 15 years later, they go on to develop knee osteoarthritis. Other people just develop knee osteoarthritis, and it may be related to how their alignment in their leg or also the body mass. So I'm interested in looking at different measures of how their knee takes load when they walk and how they differ between those two groups of arthritis. Uh, that kind of gives us a hint uh, if you know we should be treating these people differently instead of applying the same treatments to them, which is what we currently do. I love teaching. Uh, the students are really eager to learn, uh, and I really like what I teach. I teach kind of how we use biomechanics, which is kind of a field that uses math and physics to describe movement. So taking those principles and trying to apply them to clinical populations is what I'm really passionate about. It's really rewarding when you see students being challenged with this, but still get excited to look at uh, learning in this area, especially when it comes to uh, taking what I love and applying it to patient populations.